city. I know who is in my city. Yes, you can go to Wegmans and see actually Danny Wegmans. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't let go of my hand, but that's okay. Hey, beautiful people, it's Success Mentor Dante J. Worth, and I'm back with another video right here on the Just Believe It TV! Woo! <laughs> now, if this is your first time tuning in, I need you to make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you <laughs> like this video. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And make sure that you are commenting down below. Uh -huh. Me and my team absolutely love to read your comments. Now, tonight, we're being joined by the beautiful, the fabulous, uh -huh. the autistic darling. Tell them who you are. Annette Ramos. Hooray! So I invited Mrs. Ramo, Ramos yes, to right. talk about the infusion of diversity in the arts. Oh, Ooh, wonderful. that's mm, what a classic. What a classic. So before we talk about that, we're gonna ask you the question we ask every single guest. What is your story? Well, my story is I'm a New York, New Yorican, Ooh. who is a transplant to Los Angeles for 17 years. Mm. And then I met my husband while on vacation in Puerto Rico. I Puerto thought he said Rico. Westchester. Ooh. And he brought me here during the Lilac Fest. Who wouldn't want to live here during the Lilac Fest? I know, seriously. And then I got married and pregnant, and then the first winter snowstorm hit. <laughs> I love Rochester. That's awesome. I describe Rochester to my national friends as a, a big city mm -hmm. with arts, yes. but has a small town feel. I know my neighbors, yes. I know my, mm -hmm. my community, I know who is in my city. Yes, you can go to Wegmans and see actually Danny Wegmans. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't let go of my hand, but that's a good story. I'm a girl, okay? Go ahead. So, yes. So. You love the, love the city feel, what else? So, um, I really came to the theater community yes. sort of with a need. I was mm. living in Los Angeles and I was part of the National Organization of Women and we realized that many of our Latina mm. and African American sisters weren't coming. Wow. And so when I went to my community mm. and I asked, they said, mijita, that five dollars to take a bus mm. buys a container of milk and a loaf of bread. Oh. So we realized as a community of women, we had to go where they were. Mm -hmm. And so they were like, Annette, we need to entertain those kids because you know Latina and, and African American women, we bring our children. And so they were like, can you tell a story? And I'm like, can I tell, <laughs> can I tell a story? You know what I mean? You excellent. Because grandma taught me yes. my culture, That's my history, awesome. and my heritage through the ancient art mm. of storytelling. That's good. Storytellers didn't have the written language. Mm -hmm. They carried totems mm. and pieces that reminded them of a story from a different world mm -hmm. or a different part. Yes. And they carried those story bags with them. So mm -hmm. I, I personally have story baskets. Yes! Come on, baskets! Come on! But that was really how I sort of came through the doors of theater and art and storytelling. And I've been a master storyteller here in Rochester for 20-something years. <laughs> And, um, and then that just evolved into art administration, and now yes. it's art advocacy. It's the next stage yes. of really uh, bringing awareness to yes. the issues, mm -hmm. but also uh, coming from the perspective of being a grassroots organizer That's good. and speaking not down to my people, but speaking to mm. my people. What are your needs? What do you want? How do you define yeah. art? And Latinx art is very unique in our stories, tele, telenovelas. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Drama. <laughs> yes, drama. drama. I had to roll the time. Drama. <laughs> That's so awesome. that was really sort of how I came to where mm -hmm. I am today. So. That's good. So in your opinion, why do you believe that representation matters? Oh, um, first of all, it's an economic mm -hmm. vitality Ooh. because when you bring more ideas to the table mm -hmm. in diverse ways of thinking and, and um, experiencing and expressing art, yes. 
it is definitely <laughs> a bottom line for any art organization mm -hmm. who understands that and who also works collaboratively yes. with people of color. Yes. Not just slapping Spanish on a flyer or saying, oh, we are diverse. That whole part. But, <laughs> right, but really saying, well, tell us about in the heights and how would oh. how would you cast that and that's that exactly what jiva did mm -hmm. um last year we had a very successful yes, um collaboration it. and it just continues to grow with art oh. organizations who realize the economic value mm -hmm. of diversity and inclusion at all levels that's good that is so good so having worked in the field having worked in grassroots organizations and corporate organizations, all of these organizations it, what, how can we infuse diversity into the arts besides just what you've already mentioned? Well, I think there has to be training. Mm. I think that cultural competency starts within an organization. Mm -hmm. You have to find out who your your employees are. Yes. And you have to then identify what is their value mm. culturally, but also, you know, their skill sets and all of those things. When people sit together at lunch, yeah. they learn a lot of things about each other. Okay. We all drink coffee. We just happen to make it different. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that is the first step. Mm -hmm. It's really getting your, um, your cultural atmosphere and your organization yes. to understand the values of your own employees mm, and good. then working together mm. to really say this is our cultural mm. diversity mission yes because yes. when more voices and especially brown and black mm -hmm. and let me mm -hmm. let me not forget my red skin mm -hmm. sisters and my beautiful mm -hmm. asian sisters yes. <laughs> exactly. um, we bring such wealth mm, yes. and then everyone buys in to mm. the cultural climate of that organization That's good. and so you really build it internally mm. versus just slapping an image of we're inclusive yes. but really cultivating that inside mm. and then everybody tells that story from their passionate cultural mm. historical family history yes. and so that two and a half minute elevator speech can be done from the cleaning mm -hmm. people and from our domestic workers yes, thank you. and mm -hmm. from our staff yes. from middle management our face to an organization yes. also has to be culturally competent mm -hmm. and many mm -hmm. of our organizations have mm -hmm. volunteers and i love my volunteer staff mm -hmm. yes they also need to be included mm -hmm. in that because they're the first face that any um, uh, any audience yes, yes, sees. Yes, 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 yes. And so that awareness has to be intentional mm. and focused. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That young person, or isn't that experienced person? People don't get older, we get experienced. I know. <laughs> so those people who are out there who feel like their voice isn't being heard or they're not being represented, what can they do? Many things. Uh, there's much talk going on in our city right now yes. about diversity. Mm -hmm. I say go to all those small little theater companies, MUC, yes. Multi Utility Cultural Community Center. I'm sure I got that wrong. Yes. MUC okay. Theater, Atlantic <laughs> Avenue, you know. Yes. Um, that was really a hub, and that is actually a very uh, uh, intentional place of mm -hmm. inclusion and diversity. That's so cool. that's the first place. And once you're there, you just become automatically part of the family. Yes. And you get to see what other artists are doing. And mm -hmm. then that collaborative cauldron of, hey, mm -hmm. you do that. Why don't we try doing this together? Exactly. Uh, so that's the first thing. And then also um, seeking to be included in mm -hmm. the art institutions in our city. Oh, um, there are many free nights or half price nights. Um, I grew up in New York City and when my parents got to Divorce, I didn't know we were poor because I was always surrounded by art. Mm. Mommy found every single free, low cost ticket. Like and my I was. Mom, we have, we have we have the same same <laughs> so I think exposing our mm -hmm. youth and our children to those, you know, art institutions mm -hmm. that don't look or seem welcoming. Yeah. And that takes a little courage. It does. Um, and many, organi several organizations are beginning to do that. Yes. Looking at that model of success. Mm -hmm. So that's the second piece. And then being disciplined in the mm -hmm. art that you want to do. Learning who are the artists that you want to emanate and, yes. and who inspire you. Who's your representation. Yes. yes. And, and it's across the gamut. And we as Latinas, it is the year of the Latinas! <laughs> so there are so many out there. That's and good. I think, you know, 
those are the beginning steps mm -hmm. and then finding where you belong mm. finding that place for me it was at muck yeah. and that really cultivated my work for oh. many years and and i have to give a shout out to sankofa um theater <laughs> because um, Curtis always included and invited me. And then one day in his beautiful, profound Southern accent, he said, girl, you need to start your own thing. Yeah! And I love it. So I do. And, awesome. and in many ways, also not... Uh, giving a hand back, mm -hmm. but giving a hand forward mm -hmm. and nurturing mm -hmm. our talent. Mm -hmm. So there's so many, I, and I get these yeah. calls quite often. I'm sure. I do. I'm and it's like my daughter is interested or my son would like to. Mm -hmm. I find any platform mm -hmm. to display, to celebrate, and to showcase the talent in our city. Oh. Because Latinos, we are the second largest city mm. in New York State Come on. of Latinos. Come on! We don't have a home. Mm. It's called home for our arts. Well, we're so you know we're that's going to change. Yes, it is. We're <laughs> we got a voice in place, Absolutely. That's awesome. And I think I, I really look at the lessons I learned in my home yeah. and, and in my culture. Yes. I always had petitions mm -hmm. on the kitchen table. Oh. Mommy was the voice of those who didn't speak English. I made more protests <laughs> on. I'm an expert now. Yes. But, it, but really, finding where I can have a voice mm -hmm. and finding community is really important. That's good. That's good. Are you ready for rapid fire questions? Oh, well, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Favorite musical? Ooh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. In the Heights. In the Heights. Oh, the West Side Story does run West Side Story is pretty good. So, you know, <laughs> so I can go on to Hamilton and all the others. Oh, my God, we want to see Hamilton together. Let's go. Yes, 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 yes. 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 <laughs> Favorite book. Oh, my favorite book. Well, I'm reading right now a lot of historical fiction around my culture. Yes. And so last year I read a book called um, the, I, I, I'm going to butcher the name, but it was about uh, Puerto Rico mm. and the Holocaust of my people. Oh, wow. And how the war against Puerto Ricans mm. is the name of the book. And that gave me a really good historical reference. Mm. It's not my favorite book, but it has such a profound mm. insight into understanding the oppression, mm. uh, the, the Holocaust of my people. Mm. And so I got mad for a long time, mm -hmm. and now I'm getting yeah, into action. You're getting action. a yes in the yard. Take that, get excited and get the work done. In today's political climate, how can we mm. come together with everything that is going on around us? Well, I'm going to say to my Latinx peeps, you need to register to vote. Yes. Your voice matters. Yes. And I have spoken to many of my youth and they're like, well, you know, Mrs. Ramos, mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't because I don't. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yes, you do. Mm -hmm. You do. You do matter. Yes. So I think getting, um, and also educating ourselves, yes. you know, knowing who represents us, mm -hmm. what are their platforms, yes. you know, now yes. with a lot of elections coming up, mm -hmm. I'm getting those calls yes. to, oh, mm -hmm. can you endorse? Mm -hmm. Well, what's your platform? Mm -hmm. Are you advocating for fair housing? Mm -hmm. Are you looking at our transportation? Mm -hmm, system? Mm -hmm. Are you looking at equity yes. at all those levels yes, of jobs? Mm -hmm. Because if our youth are graduating out of high school and they don't have a job here mm -hmm. or a road mm -hmm. to those organizations, yes. then we're failing mm -hmm. our children. So I think those are the pieces. And then having those uncomfortable conversations, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. only with our white counterparts, yes. but with our brown and black mm -hmm. sisters. I don't say tables anymore, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I say circles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because a circle has an empty space for mm -hmm. us to fill together. That is good. That's tweetable. That's tweetable. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> to be audacious means to be... Oh, just out there and absolutely, completely uh, <laughs> righteous and speaking truth, even if it comes out... Um, uh, just loud, because I yes. say I am Latina, mm -hmm. I am loud, Come and away. it is in my DNA! Come on, DNA, that's good! 
I love that. That's good. So tell people how they can find you online, how they can support you. Well, uh, the Rochester Latino Theater Company, we are Facebook friendly. Yes. We post continuous auditions. Mm -hmm. We encourage, we nurture, we support. If you if you feel like you don't know, DM me. Yes. I, I'm more than happy. DM. That's what she said. Um, I also <laughs> recently posted how to audition, how to uh, find a monologue. Oh, that's good. Because that's those good. are some of the tools and techniques. Mm -hmm. I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Oh. So like me, like me, like She's me. She's trendy. <laughs> Until next time, remember that life is meant to be enjoyed and not just endured. How you doing? <laughs>